stay there. Being happy, healthy and independent while still staying in touch with your mates, that's important for you to stay physically and mentally capable while you're ageing. If you have a setback and something goes wrong, particularly if you're living alone, it's important to know what's available to help you. Knowing what's out there is an important part of your journey as you're ageing. Cota SI developed a specific program just for you, so to keep you healthy and happy while you stay in your own home. I'll be chatting about the options available through My Aged Care. That's the government subsidised support, particularly to enable you to stay in your own home while you're, you're ageing. My Aged Care is available for every Australian over age 65, or 50 if you're Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. The idea is to keep you living independently in your own home, to help you with those sort of tasks you might find difficult, clearing the gutters, uh, keeping the garden tidy, even those jobs in your own home, inside, which are just physically too demanding. Assistance available may also be to transport you to your social club, men's club, um, men's shed, similar. We know that in South Australia, some 18% of people over 50 in the country report as being lonely. So keeping you socially connected while you age is particularly important. First though, I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, Council on the Ageing South Australia, commonly known as COTA SA. We're an older people's organisation of older people, for older people, looking after the interests of older people in South Australia. COTA SA represents the rights, the interests, the futures of well, some 633,000 people in South Australia over the age of 50. We know that some 26% of this group live in country SA, just like you. Our priorities are your priorities. We know that cost of living, housing, health, well-being, employment, discrimination and ageism these are all concerns for older people right across the state. Cota SA is a non-for-profit organisation. You can join as a member, just like I am. We know that only 39% of our members are male, so we'd like a lot more blokes to join with us. In addition to our policy and advocacy work, we have a, a lot of other exciting opportunities for you. The plug-in, Strength for Life, our Rainbow Hub, volunteering are all available to you. Just 21% of our volunteers are male, so we'd like lots more guys to join us. Let me tell you now about registering for My Age Care. It's as easy as hopping online or a phone call away. Don't wait until a problem arises. Get yourself registered so that you can be prepared for the unexpected. To register yourself or a close mate, you need to find 30 minutes to spare to make a phone call to My Age Care or hop online. There are various levels of support available from My Age Care short-term or long-term, as required. Once registration is done, a My Age Care Assessor will call on you to see you in your own home. They work out with you what is helpful and write down a plan for you to keep. They'll leave information about aged care services and what the next steps are. Following their visit, you will receive letters from My Age Care, including a summary of the visit indication of what level of support is approved for you. There are two levels of care available. Entry-level care, more complex care. 
These are subsidised by the government to keep the costs low, but you are expected to contribute to those costs. Entry level, known as Commonwealth Home Support, provides a maximum of two hours a week. If you need more assistance, more complex care is split into various levels of home care packages. Each level provides increasing help and each has a greater annual allowance to assist paying for the services you need. If you're like me, you'll ask, what will a home care package cost me? If you receive only the pension, you'll pay a basic daily fee. If you have other income, you will also pay an income tested fee. This is in addition to the basic fee. These are charged seven days a week and they're your personal contributions to the cost. The package will pay for the rest of your care costs. Services Australia offer a free financial information service. Call the Centrelink Older Australians line on 132 300 for support. Alternatively, you can seek your own financial advice privately. You can find an organisation that provides aged care services in your area by either phoning My Aged Care or looking at their website. The assessor who visited your home will also leave brochures behind. Choose something that suits your needs. Shop around and consider the costs. They do vary. A home care agreement from the organisation you choose sets out all the details of the care and the cost. Make sure you understand it before you sign it. It's your right to receive high quality care and interactions along your aged care journey. If you're not happy with any aspect, then you need to seek assistance to rectify this. It's by calling Older Persons Advocacy Network or OPAN 1-800-700-600 or the Aged Care Quality and Safety Commission 1-800-951-822 Guys, I hope you can recognise it's okay for you to ask for a little bit of help. Don't just manage by getting on with it chat with your friends you'll find that they too can use a little bit of assistance just that little bit of assistance needed to keep you living independently in your own home for as long as possible that's the whole key to living in your own home independently as long as you care to